Hello, welcome back to MTD CNC North America, my friends. I'm with my buddy Tom, and we're going to learn a bit more about how easy robotics can actually be in the world of welding. We've spoken with Matthew in previous videos, and he expressed how his transition from being a welder, uh, physically being a welder, manually being a welder, into the world of robotics and that transition, and he expressed how more or less easy it was for him to make that transition. Now I'm with Tom, and we're going to look at it. He's going to explain and express how that actually works to you. So Tom, thank you so much for being a part of MTD. Thanks, Tony. Really appreciate it. Yeah, so I'm Tom Fulberg from Scale Robotics, and we're here showing with ABB's Arc Pack U2, and Scale Robotics is a partner with ABB here at the show. And what we're doing is we're actually bringing the welder, or the robot, to the welder. Okay, so our philosophy is to say the welder shouldn't have to know anything more about, you know, anything and be able to use a robotic cell. Okay, so what we do is we say, let's, let's make the robot have the capability to learn about the part and to be able to do, you know, to, to understand everything that's going on. And then the welder, all he has to do is know how to weld. So we're capturing that welder's knowledge. So what we do is we start out with the robot coming over and making a scan of the part. Now that part can be randomly in there. It doesn't have to be fixed here. It just has to be like held down, so it just is, uh, you know, like with, we have magnetic clamps in here right now just to hold it, okay? And so what the robot's doing now, as you can see, is it's doing a, a scan. So we have a 3D camera in that box. It's well protected for this welding environment. And what it does is, is we'll make a 3D model of that part. So now the robot knows where that part is. And now, if I were to teach you, like, where I want you to weld, how would I do that? I guess you'd point at it, right? I'd point at it, right? Yeah. So what we do with the robot is we use our teaching tool here we just point where the weld should go. So we do approach points, we do any number of, of weld points, and then we do a retract point. And that gives the robot all the information it needs to know on how to do that weld, okay? If I'm out there right now, Tom, is it really that easy? Because you know, you know there's some people watching right now a little bit skeptic going, come on, Tom, it can't be that easy, can it? But it really is, it, isn't it? It really is that easy. So what happens is, is you know, the welder's still the guy in charge. It's still that welder's eye and that, you know, his, his experience that is really you know, doing those points. What we do is we get him there and get the robot well tuned in there. And then he can go in and he can put in, you know, his feeling what the weld angle should be if he needs a little leader lag or change the weld angle or change the speeds of the wire feed. That's all him. So what you see now is what's come up on the screen is in a 3D image of what you see there. Wow. Okay? So this is actually, you know, you and the robot are seeing the same thing in the same time. And that's really key, okay, that everything's done at the same time. So there's no CAD involved, there's nothing, no offline programming kind of thing. And then we do is we just say, I want to start teaching, okay? So I'm going to come over here. And teaching's really straightforward. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. What you do is you, just, you do an approach point. I'm going to turn my pen on. Approach point, start weld, stop weld, retract, and that's it. Now I've taught the robot where I want the welds to go, okay? Pretty simple weld, but that's what we do. Then what we do next is we validate that path, okay? So now in simulation, we're showing that the robot can do that path, so we're, we have some confidence there. Let me send it to the robot, and send. And then we come over to the robot, we say, let's run that part, okay? Now the robot will tell me, okay, I haven't tuned that part yet. Let's tune it, okay? And the robot, what's really cool here is the robot can auto-tune that part. Because we know the geometry of the part, we know that it's this, you know, it's got these two walls, and we know where those points are, we can actually auto-tune that part. So right now the robot is feeling for where that part is. So like with the vision system, you're only getting within a few millimeters, right? But with welding, you have to be within half a wire width of accuracy on that, where, the, where that joint should be. So that's really important. So what the robot is doing is it's auto-tuning. Now you can see here, the robot on that first point has placed itself exactly in that corner. Now if I want to, because I'm a welder, I can go in and say, well, I want to jog that a little bit. I want to, you know, I'm going to move it over a little bit, or I'm going to change my, you know, my weld angles or something like that, right? I can do my push or drag or whatever, you know, because maybe the metal's a little thicker on one side or another and I want to do a little change there. You know, that's that welder's experience that we capture. And then it goes on and we'll do the next point. So every point that you teach, it'll go on and it'll fine tune that, okay? 
So here's, so now it's, you can see it's feeling for the part. They're coming in feeling for the wall. And there, now you can see that it's exactly, it's exactly in that corner. So now we've done a really accurate fine tune. The welder hasn't done, had to do anything about touching the roll, but just has said, yeah, that looks good, okay? And now we are ready to run. And for those people out there that are, <clears throat> you know, new to the world of automation, I would imagine you guys that offer some sort of training, uh, confidence building, because we started this whole conversation out with what we're going to do is we're going to take a robot with a cell, drop it on your floor. You don't have to know anything, and, it, and it's really that simple. But there's a couple of buttons here, you know, and, and we keep it simple, absolutely, yeah, yeah. right? So we had the, the, the greatest experience. When we installed this at our first pilot, you know, we got this, this new guy, and he comes up to us and says, I'm definitely not the guy for you. And we're like, what do you mean? He goes, I've never touched a robot. I've never programmed anything in my life. We're like... Yeah, but can you weld? He goes, yeah, I'm a good welder. I've been welding for five years. I'm like, okay, you're perfect. You're, you're who we built this for. And by the end of that day, first day, he was welding production level parts. And it was complicated. I mean, this is the part that he did. So a turnover, 24 separate seams, but he got production quality welds on his very first day. And what was, what was really interesting is we had a talk with the owner a couple weeks later, and he said, you know, I was thinking about this. He goes, I got my ROI on your system on that very first day. I'm like, how do you mean? He goes, because I didn't have to send anybody to training, right? On his previous cell that he'd done in the, like a classical way, where he sent people off to training, he sent three guys for two weeks of training out of state. He had their wages and the travel costs and the lost productivity. And then when they came back, they had to you know, practice on the cell. He goes, and he goes, he spent all this time and money with that. And then they left. He said over a six week period, all three of those guys left and they were on, each on different shifts. So at the end of a six month period, he was left with a robot that wasn't working. So we came in, put our system on there, and he's like, it's so easy. And now the first guy can train the second guy. So I feel like that's a story that we need to share as well. We need to go into him, get that testimonial from him, have him share that story because a story like that, that's the powerful testimonies we need to convey the message of how easy it is, right? You're talking about by end of day ROI, by end of day he knew how to do it. No more of that downtime we've been talking about, removing the, the mundane of what we've, you know, the world of welding that can be and get back to the creativity, which I repeat over and over and over again because it reduces that fear, it builds that confidence. We can set it down. We can measure it. It's simple to do. By the end of the day, your guy, we got to get in there and get that testimonial. Yeah, I would love that. <laughs> and, and, and what you saw here, right, was we went from a new part, a new situation, you know, no prior knowledge about it. We went through, we scanned it, we taught it, we, te we validated it here, we tuned it, and we ran that scene all within, you know, it was like about four minutes to, go for, to do that scene from beginning to end. Right. So that's incredible. It, it really works well. It's it's a you know it's a powerful new te technology. It's you know not terribly expensive. There's it's really a simple camera here that we're using. It's not uh, you're not overly complicated, and it's good for a welding environment. So Tony, what we're doing is we're reducing, we're eliminating those barriers to getting into robotic automation. Those barriers. It's not like cost or capability. Robots are cost effective and plenty capable. It's that having to upgrade the welder to train him, to teach him how to program it in whatever robot language you have. And it's or having the CAD. Like a lot of our customers, they don't have CAD for their parts. They can't go the offline method. They have to do it online, and that's hard, right? So it's those reducing those final barriers to automation. So allowing that, you know, it's affordable, yes, but you know, having that barrier of having to train the people, upgrade the people, and not and having it really too hard. Because to have have somebody that knows your process, like welding, and knows how to program a robot, is a really big step up. It's not that easy. It's not that easy to find. And then when those people, you know do get trained and stuff like that, it, it's, you know, now they're much more mobile than they used to be. So people have a lot of hard time retaining them. It makes all the sense in the world, Tom. And hearing you say it, all, everything just kind of connects like Legos. I really appreciate you sharing that message with our audience. Guys, I hope you've learned as much as I have today, not just about welding itself or even robotic welding, but how simple it can be for you, your friends, everyone out there. It's the way that the world is going, simplifying, making it easier. Tom, you're amazing. Thank you so much for being a part of MTD. Thanks, Tony. Really appreciate it.